all those smart devices have computers running on them. And on those devices are computer processing chips. And the way it works is that a lot of it runs on switches. So think of it as an on and off switch. And these switches have two states, zero and one. But the thing is that a lot of these devices right now are operating on zero and ones at any given time. So if you have a switch, it only can be a zero or it could only be a one. And there's hundreds and hundreds of billions of, of these switches working together to basically produce a calculation or work on an instruction to display the weather on your phone. It could be taking you to your next destination. So those are what classical computers operate at the fundamental level. Now, the fundamental building blocks of these types of switches are called transistors. And the thing about transistors is that they're incredibly small and they're getting smaller every day, every year. The problem is that these transistors can only get smaller until a certain point. And beyond that point is where quantum effects start to happen. And this is where the weird stuff happens. And you've probably heard about quantum physics and quantum entanglement and tunneling, things existing in multiple places at once. This is where it gets really, really funky. 